welcome to the What Sold uh, video for the week of March 19th through the 25th. And we're going to start off with eBay as usual and starting off with a baseball cap. So um, I think I said last week in my video I had sold a Kubota baseball hat and I said all of a sudden I had this like like run of Kubota hats selling <laughs> and I wasn't quite sure why but anyway this was one of the other ones that sold this black and gray one sold for $18.99 and we'll see the other one in a second uh, next one this Calvin Klein it's a wool overcoat um, so it did sell in March which is great it had sold once and got returned and I think this time we sold it probably for a little bit less um, due to the season and everything. But this actually sold for $55. And it's been delivered and everything. So hopefully this one is a better fit for that purse, for the buyer. And here's the other Kubota hat. So I had gotten a bunch of hats one day at Goodwill. And as you can see, there had been two identical of these hats and so they're both sold out now okay next one these shoes picolinos i've sold picolinos over the years um i think i've done the best with um they have a certain style shoe that's um pierced like the leather is pierced kind of it's got holes all over it is the best way i can explain it and that seems to be a popular style that they're known for um, so I had picked up these sandals a while back. I just thought they were kind of interesting. They have like raffia straw throughout them. Um, they sold for $21. I took an offer on that. So one thing, it was actually a pretty good week this week. Um, we did a few different things. Um, we listed more. And also on at some point during the week, I decided to enable best offer on all of my listings on eBay. And we haven't done that in a really long time. Um, we've just mostly used the send offer to watcher or send offer to like or whatever they call it. And that seems to work really well for us. But every once in a while we have somebody who messages us an offer. And I thought, well, what if we're missing some people who would make an offer but maybe don't necessarily watch the item, you know, they're going to never get an offer from us, right? So let's get people who see something and then they make an offer. So the only thing that's, it took a day or so to really see some results from it. And yeah, we're getting low balls, um, low ball offers, which is fine. You can set it up so that the um, you can have like a minimum threshold so you won't even see the offers that come in that are below that threshold. Um, but I kind of, my husband had started to set those up and then we talked about it and I was like, you know what, what if like, you know, someone offer our threshold is $20 and somebody offered us 19 and like, we probably would take that. Right. And so let's just, let's just field every offer that comes in. So that's what we decided to do. So um, I just think in this economy, sending offers, having offers, pricing your items so that you've got wiggle room to do that is just the way things are going right now. So we just want to keep things moving. And I think sales did pick up as a result of that. Now it might just be like an initial surge because we edited a bunch of all of our listings at once and we'll see what happens from there and we may turn it off again after a time just I don't know changing things up okay next one is this travel mug it looked really vintage um but we don't think it is it's it's thermoserve I think my husband spelled thermoserve wrong it shouldn't have an e on the end um it, but Tim Tim Hortons is a very popular coffee company and this was made in the USA but like I said I don't think that is what meant anything and it does have this very retro look but we we found some other listings where these were like brand new and so um, this actually sold for an offer of $15 and it was we got it at the 
little outlet bins place that we get some of our stuff at. Speaking of our outlet bins place, my husband picked this up one time, um, again, so paid hardly anything for it because he, he bought a volume of items and our bins are not based on weight. They're based on the more you buy, the less you pay kind of thing. So he got this kitchen faucet, like not a really big known brand or anything like that, but it was new and complete. And so he sold it for $50. And then this was uh, art glass bowl and we've had this for a while we were just talking about where we picked it up and we think it was either we're not even sure it was it was something it was either given to us or I don't know some other kind of maybe storage unit situation kind of thing that happened several years ago but my husband really liked it it's orange and it's got the uh, the darker color is like a cobalt blue and so we had it, you know, just on display for a couple years and he decided to list it and it sold for this full asking price of $125 and it was marked Czechoslovakia on it, which is how we knew the origin. Next one. Okay. I found, uh oh, did I delete it? I hate when that happens. All right. I'll go back to that. So this was some more Lego that sold. Um, my kids aren't really into Bionicles, so whenever my husband gets, you know, Lego lots, they, they end up keeping some stuff and they resell some stuff. And then he kind of collected up a bunch of the Bionicle pieces and sold them for $40. And then I, you might have remembered this from a couple weeks ago. So I had sold... Um, this, this set of four, plus there was some twins that went with it. It's Calico Critters and it's the L Woods, um, which always makes me think of Legally Blonde, but anyway, the elephant family and it sold for $45. It's a discontinued family. And, um, so I had sold the other set with the twins and then I've just listed this one separately and a couple weeks later this one sold for $45 so definitely these um oh man I'm gonna have to edit the Sylvania there we go Sylvania families was the vintage calico critters um it's that sa it's the same thing and these were still new in box the box was kind of beat up a little bit but they were discontinued, so that's why the price is so good. Okay, Outback Trading Company. This was interesting. This was a blazer I picked up. Um, so Outback Trading Company definitely does a lot like of the dusters and the very, you know, rugged outdoor wear kind of kind of coats and jackets. Now this was a sport coat. Or a blazer but Western style you can see the yoke a little bit there um, but what was interesting is that and it had its name and it was called the bush blazer its name was on the inside tag but I could not find another one on the internet like nowhere ever 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 <laughs> no solds nothing and I had picked this up because it was a 3xl and the brand it you know seemed to look like it had done okay and anyway, this might have been when the offers um, had started kicking in. So we got an offer for $58 and I went ahead and took that even though that was like half of what I was asking because I really had no comps to base this off of. I just threw $100 out there <laughs> just to see, you know, who would bite or whatever. And so this was the real serious interest, first real serious interest we got in it. So we went ahead and took the $58. That was totally fine. Next one is a pair of board shorts, swim shorts by Hurley. And then there was an artist, Clark Little. So this was a collaboration between the two. And so I had a real cool fish design and everything. Um, I sold these for $20. I was hoping to get a little bit more. We did do it. Um, 
you know, kind of on the edge of winter, end of winter kind of thing, we did a bunch of our shorts and things. And someone had offered me, like right away, they offered me like 15. And I was like, no, you know, we just listed these. No, thank you. And so the buyer actually waited a couple of weeks and he messaged me again and he's like, would you take 20? And I was like, at this point, since they hadn't sold, I said, yeah, go ahead, that's fine. So they were on their way off to Hawaii and they got delivered. So they're in Hawaii. <laughs> okay, this was a pickup. My husband grabbed this from the bins. Um, I have never heard of this brand before, Collusion. But when, you know, sometimes he just grabs things that look interesting. He said, sometimes we know that these, like, it's, it's funny. Some of the cheaper looking tags actually end up being kind of more trendy pieces of clothing. And so when he comes home from the bins and he's got a bunch of different things, you know, we go through and we decide if things, he'll, he'll just grab something that's interesting. Like I said, we're not paying hardly anything for this. So we just kind of look at what's interesting and what seems like it's worth listing. And this actually had, you know, collusion. There were things listed and things selling. So we decided to just throw it up there. We got a $15 offer and we took that. Um, it did get quite a bit of attention, even though it's just this plain tan hoodie. Okay, next one is... Uh, a couple things my husband picked up. It's a Wii remote and a Wii U wired fight pad, whatever. I don't know <laughs> anything about these, but we had these listed separately for a while and we just kept getting low ball offers like on multiple platforms. And so my husband said, you know what, I'm just going to put these together, you know, and put $70 on it and just see what happens. And someone bought them at full price like within a day so that totally worked for us um i also <clears throat> i had posted this on my instagram when it sold and someone had told me that these controllers will sell well on amazon as well so that's just something if you're an amazon seller to keep in mind um i have sold on amazon we just are not currently i think i I had to update, I hadn't used my account in a while and they wanted all the updates and I don't know, things have gotten more complicated and I'm just not that interested. So I haven't bothered. Okay, another hat. This one I picked up at our little bins. This one also sold for $15. So again, just some more bread and butter. Um, McCarthy Air Bush Pilot from Alaska, you know, it's so funny, really, it seems like the most random hats are the ones that will sell the fastest. So even though it was only 15, we didn't pay a whole lot for it and it sold really quickly. Okay, so this is a good um, jewelry bolo brand to, to remember. Um, I'll show you the tag. Let me find it. Okay, here we go. So I have actually found two pieces of this jewelry. And the first one I think might have been in a jewelry lot that I bought. I don't really remember. This one I just picked up at a thrift store not that long ago. And I, I grabbed it because I knew um, the name. And I had sold it before. And it had surprised me. It, the first one I sold, I remember, because all you really see is this tag that says A-L-A-N-A. -A -A, so Alana. So you see that, and then, let's see. I don't know if I have a picture of the back of it. I must not. Anyway, on the back of the tag, it says love or something like that. And then the 925 is hidden somewhere, maybe on this little heart clasp on the other side. There's just a tiny 925. So it's really hard to, you know, it, it's easy to miss, especially thrift stores. So I remember the first piece I found, it really didn't look like anything. And it just said Alana, and I was like, whatever. And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, my goodness. So Alana Lay, I'm assuming, or Lee, Alana Lee, Alana Lay. Um, anyway, it's a, she's a, kind of an artist 
jewelry maker, I think it was California, and her stuff had gotten really, really popular. There's um, some Hollywood type people who like to wear her stuff, and so it kind of took off. And I, it's handmade, so I don't think there are that many pieces that are alike. And so I just kind of had to base my comps on, you know, similar. I found one similar to this, but it had more to it. So I started off at $90 and I took a $75 offer, but I had paid like $2 at the thrift store. Another hat. So yeah, I'm thinking springs here. People are shopping for their hats, their baseball hats again. This one was new with tags. It was for Walker mowers. We've had this one a while. Um, so this one sold for $16. And you can see best offer accepted. So that was a reasonable offer. And um, yeah, not much more to say about that. <laughs> I picked up this coat at Goodwill. So I paid about $5 and I could find a comp at the store. And so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's like a ski patrol, ski instructor jacket. Um, Onega is the brand. I don't know that I'll ever find this again, but you never know. Um, I do live near a kind of a swanky ski area. So I will keep this in mind. There, there was some condition issues um, to it. So it was interesting. We had it listed for $50 and um, the buyer sent us an offer I forgot what he sent the offer for and we were just about to accept it. My husband was going to accept it and it, the accepting wouldn't go through and then all of a sudden it sold. And so we thought someone else had swooped in and like bought it, but it was the same buyer. So I think they like sent the offer and then decided they didn't want to wait. And I mean, like they didn't wait cause we were, we, we saw the offer and we were about to do it. But for some reason they changed their mind. They decided to just buy it outright. Always happy when that happens. <laughs> so it sold for $50. Okay, here's a cookbook uh, bolo for you as well. This one sold for 30 and the reason I, I took an offer a little bit lower was because it did have damage on that coil, that plastic coil. And it was a little bit of a later printing. So, but Rogers Cajun Cookbook it can sell for $50, $60, $45, kind of all in that range. There's a, another version that's like a diet version that seems to do even better. Um, so anyway, I picked this up. Our family did a little thrifting road trip, very, not very far, <laughs> and um, just hit some thrift stores and places that we don't get to very often. And this was one of them. One of the things I found at one of the thrift stores and I paid $2 for the cookbook and it sold for $30. Another bins um, clearance center item we picked up and this one sold for $20. We find plenty of University of Montana items around here, obviously. Oh no, sorry, this sold for $18. And I found these vintage Levi's at the um, at Goodwill, and these sold for twenty-four dollars. They were kind of a smaller size. It's not a deal breaker, um, you know. It's not just guys who will buy the vintage guys Levi's. You know, women will buy them too. And um, these were made in the USA. The tag on the back. Let's see. Okay, so here's the Made in the USA on the inside, and I don't know where the back of the pants are. Here we go. It's really hard to see. But anyway, the tag is white, so I had just kind of noticed that because that's just kind of a sign of an, a little bit of an older piece. And anyway, they were corduroy, so they weren't denim. We just went ahead and took the $24 offer. Outdoor research, I, you know, this only sold for $9. 
Um, I had picked it up because it was linen, and um, anyway, outdoor research can be okay. Some things sell better than others. Interestingly, we had a cap like this, a similar style, that was wool, and it was patchwork, and that had sold for $24. Um, so this one was okay. It was just something I needed to get listed. And interestingly, I listed a few hats, women's hats this week, and they were all kind of not super high value, but I was like, they were in good shape. And I'm like, let's just list them. And I think I listed four or five and like three of them have already sold. So, you know, it adds up. It's fine. Um, this one only sold for $9, so I wouldn't pick that one up again. Now, speaking of coffee mugs, I don't know if you saw the coffee mug video from this weekend, um, but here's a good sale that I had. This sold for the full asking price of $25, and I spotted this mug across the thrift store because I've sold this style mug before, and it it it, it just always sells, and I, ha I was kind of counting on the fact that it still did. So this... Um, handle is called the style of the mug is called Rococo and this one is Tivana but you'll probably recognize that font as being a Starbucks font so Tivana and Starbucks were connected for a little while and um, do they still do Tazo at Starbucks I can't remember now but anyway they were doing Tivana for a while and so I've sold this mug that said Starbucks on the bottom this one said Tivana, but the font is exactly the same as Starbucks. So I just went ahead and used Starbucks in the title. And um, anyway, it was a little grungy, but it turned out just to be, you know, it had some white marks on it, but it just turned out to just need washing. I was worried it was damaged or something, but sold for $25. I think I did pay like $2 for that one. And then here's another name to keep an eye out for. Um, Michael Simon is known for these sweaters that are just kind of over the top, embroidered and beaded and novelty and everything. So Michael Simon and Storybook Knits, you know, those are kind of ones to keep an eye out for. Now, this was a vest with these guitars on it. It was kind of rare. And I had it set for 50. I wanted to get around 40. Um... I, this was so popular. I got so many favorites and watchers and, and I kept sending offers and sending offers and the only like, you know, someone would be like, how about $25? And I'm like, no. And so we were laughing because it's been listed for a little while. And I think I got a low offer like 25 and I declined it or I countered it or something. And I told my husband, I'm going to die on this hill. <laughs> I'm like, I want, you know, a certain amount of money for this vest. And then finally I got a counter offer back, I think it was $33 and, or 32 or something. I think they, they basically wanted the free shipping because we were shipping it in a padded flat, right? Oh no, here we go. So shipping was $7. So it was first class. And they sent me 33. So I'm like, okay, they want to pay an even 40. I understand where they're coming from. And I went ahead and said, you know what? Stop being stubborn. <laughs> Take the offer. So I took the $33 offer on that. And this is probably my favorite sale of um, the week, I would definitely say. So a couple of years back um, in the thrifting and reselling groups on in Facebook, you know, everybody wanted to find a beater lock blanket. You know, the talk was about beater lock blankets and these big ones, and they have, you know, these big scenes on them. And shoot, there was another blanket brand. I think that the blankets are a little bit heavier, and I've been trying to think of the name of them, and and I can't remember the name. But if you, if you remember the name, drop a comment down below. It, they're kind of this like two sided picture blankets and I thought there was another brand not just beater lock but anyway um so I've kind of kept my eyes open I found one one time maybe the other brand and it just was so kind of worn and everything that I didn't I didn't mess with it 
And, you know, it's just kind of one of those bolo list type things. Not quite bucket list because I didn't really... Blankets are... There's money in blankets, believe me. But I tend to get them and then not list them because I have to find a place to spread them out and like all this stuff. So I... And then the used blanket, you know, it all needs to get washed and sanitized and, you know. So I focused on other things. And the other day I was at the thrift store and so crazy... I bought a rug. <laughs> I should pop up. I should pop up a picture or a video, like right here, so you can see it. Um, I bought a rug, totally out of my comfort zone, and then I was in that same section with blankets, and I was looking for baby blankets, like my um, bucket list talked about, the baby Morgans. And I look up on top of the shelf, and there's this package, you know, of the rack. There's this package. And it's this. And I pull it down and it's like beater lack all over it. And I'm like, no way. So I ended up paying $10 for that. And it sold for $80, you know, super, super quickly. I did look at comps um, for this particular one in this condition. Someone had sold one for less than $80. So I just started with 80. Maybe I should have started higher. I don't know. But I'm totally happy with getting $80 for that. And then this dress I picked up actually like last week and listed it pretty quickly. And it sold pretty quickly. This sold for $34. Um, full, full asking price. And I just ba I bought it based on style. It was, I thought it was vintage. It's Eddie Bauer. And I think it was like made in Hong Kong or something like that. But it also had the inside tags were very like new looking, those shiny ones. So I didn't put vintage in it, but it's just got that, you know, country Eddie Bauer look to it. It buttoned all the way down the front. And so I used modest and I used prairie and cottage core. It could have gone a couple different directions. It could have even gone dark academia or like steampunk or I don't know. I just felt like there was lots of different ways that that, um, that it could go anyway. So here, let me show you. Those are the other tags. I don't know. These tags just look newer to me. So, but it was the style that mattered, not even the name Eddie Bauer, you know, not it's okay. I have a hard time selling certain pieces of it, but it had a really pretty little floral. Okay. Last one on eBay was this Volkswagen hat. So we've kind of come to the agreement that car, especially like car models and car brands, baseball caps are a good um, pickup. So they're usually sell pretty well. There's, you know, people who are really loyal to their brands. And especially if the brand is a higher value, people want to wear the hats to kind of, when they're not with their cars, they want to show <laughs> everybody that they have one of those cars, right? Okay, let's go to Posh. First off is this pair of Berkey's by Birkenstock sandals. I cleaned them up. I might even have cleaned them up a little more after the picture, but they had just like scrapes and stuff in the white and, you know, I couldn't get it all off, but a magic eraser did pretty well taking care of that. And those sold for $31. Lily Pulitzer. This was a little girl's dress. I picked it up at a yard sale. So, you know, I kind of, I don't look up comps at yard sales generally. And I kind of got suckered in by the Lily Pulitzer name, which Certain things sell okay, but, um, you know, I probably will, wouldn't pick up a kid's item again. This was a fun shirt. It's actually a men's shirt, um, you know, but whatever. It It's vintage Y2K. It was very oversized, and I put it on a couple different backgrounds, right? The white, it showed up okay, but I tried the black. I thought it would stand out a little bit more. And everybody's favorite, Eeyore, immune to enthusiasm since 1966. So they, the person who bought that bought um, 
this shirt and they also bought this beanie this Jameson Irish whiskey beanie and I think the bundle it was a bundle so I think it was about like 30 or 35 dollars for the bundle so you know each one went down a little bit or you could say they bought the shirt and got the beanie for free I don't we the beanie had been listed a long time so we were totally okay with that and then you just never know what's going to sell on Poshmark um this baseball glove was only $15. I don't remember where it came from. It's a t-ball glove. Um, it could possibly have been a bins pickup as well. And then we sold this t-shirt for 20. It's a Harley Davidson. It wasn't vintage. Um, vintage is going to, um, give you better prices on the Harley shirts, but but location Harley sh Harley t-shirts can do pretty good. People do collect them. And this was the big island um, in Hawaii, Kona, Hawaii. And sold for 20. Hoka's, I found a pair at the thrift store last week, this pair, and they just needed cleaning up. There wasn't anything major, you know, damage to them and I paid $12 them and I took an offer for 56 and then this hat this is one of the women's hats you know I suppose it could be a men's hat as well but this trucker snapback um, it just was a really nice looking hat and, and in good condition that sold for 17 and these again I picked them up last week maybe the week before got them listed and they sold pretty quickly for $24 and I'm glad I cross post to Poshmark. I have to just do my little shout out for Vendu. Um, I do have a link below if you want to sign up, but then like I, I cross post most of my eBay listings over to Poshmark. I think I've said that before. And these were on eBay. There were several on eBay, but you know, I think one had sold or something like that. So I'm just glad I get a different audience to look at certain items. So this one sold really quickly for $24. I paid $3 at the thrift. And then these boots um, sold for $48. I don't remember my buying price, but they were, I got them recently at Goodwill. Um, and they, I think maybe I paid 15. I'm trying to remember. It wasn't that long ago, but they were in really good condition and you know, I wasn't sure if they would still sell this year, but they are kind of like a waterproof boot. So it could be good for spring with kind of the muck and the, you know, meltage. <laughs> and Peter Millar short sold for $28. They had, they were kind of a performance material and they had this camo pattern, which I think helps sell them. And then again, Lily Pulitzer, I should have looked these up at the thrift store, but I just went ahead and grabbed them and listed them together. You know, they weren't selling for much anywhere, but I might have, no, I put them on eBay as well. And they sold um, here on Poshmark for 14 Let's go over to Ruby Lane. I had a couple sales on Ruby Lane. I'm still not able to d give Ruby Lane as much attention as I would like. Um, if you want to know more about selling on Ruby Lane, I do have a couple videos about that. And you can look my in my channel. I have a Ruby Lane playlist. You can check out those videos. Um, anyway, this was a rhinestone brooch. I bought in a lot a while back and this sold overnight. So I listed it and then the next day I talk about this in my videos, but when it shows up in the what's new, um, page on Ruby lane, it got snatched up. So that sold for 18. And this one also sold quickly to a repeat buyer. I think I have two of these. I have to, I have to dig around. I had put them in uh, I had a big bag, some like recent purchases were kind of up here in the living room. And then I, I bagged them up and brought them downstairs to work on. And I can't remember if I had bought one or two of these. I might've just bought one, but anyway, I had grabbed it and listed it and it sold overnight. So now I really need to find the other one and get that listed. It sold for 16. 
And then cat's eyeglasses. I love these. Aren't these so pretty? And they came in their little case. Um, they're an etched aluminum. They also had uh, gold fill. And I just, a few, you know, 10 years or so ago, you'd list something like that and it would sell like so fast. And it just takes a lot longer now. And so I just kind of listed it and forgot about it until someone paid $50 and bought this pair. So I hope they love them. I think they're amazing. I paid a dollar at a yard sale. Not bad. Okay, moving over to Etsy, a couple flatware sales. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, I've got some content about selling flatware as well. <laughs> and I think in my playlist, you can find that under the what to sell playlist. Okay, uh, $20 for these little, this baby set. Um, there's an infant feeding spoon and then there, the two shorter pieces, shorter uh, flatware pieces, you know, are for when the baby starts feeding themselves. And I sold these dinner forks for $30. The pattern is called Constellation and they're by, they are marked in Sitco, but that's uh, International Silver Company. And anything atomic, con you know, star burst related in flatware always sells. So, these were a nice sale. And then hopping over to my husband's shop, he had a couple sales this week as well. I had picked this up because I recognized it as a dance piece. Um, I think Gunner Siren was the designer. Um, prices have gone down a little bit on this, but it's just a plastic pitcher sold for $20. And then this is another wall hanging piece that has been in our house for a while. I had it up in the last place I lived for a little bit in the kitchen, but it's kind of, I don't know, more Tuscan kitchen related than we ever have. So we decided to move it on and it's metal. It's like a cast metal and the brand is Sexton. You can see it's really cool looking. So I'm hoping someone enjoys that. It sold for $45. And then just a quick bar tool that my husband sold for 10. And last but not least, we sold a sewing pattern. I have a, I had a sale running for about five days in my pattern shop. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of sales from it, <laughs> um, but I never seem to do well with sales on Etsy. I did get a good order yesterday, which will be in next week's, um, video. So anyway, so I know I've talked about sewing pattern and promising sewing pattern content for a while. So we are going to go ahead and finish up the coffee mugs this week, and then we will start working on sewing patterns video. So that should be coming up soon. Go ahead and hit the subscribe, hit the like button, do all the lovely things that you all do to help me grow my channel. Anyway, as always, it's been fun and we will see you next time.